I, I was very fortunate, really. So I, I had a, a really interesting time of primary and secondary school. I went to a primary school which was, I suppose, quite rough. Uh, you, you know, there was a kind of lots of fighting going on. It's closed down now, so I feel I can I can, I can say some of these things without uh, too much too much bother. But it but it was a very challenging primary school. You know, the behaviour was challenging. The area it was in was quite a deprived area as well. Um, but then when I went to secondary school, I was fortunate enough to get a, a kind of assisted place in the local independent school. I was the only one from my school that went there. And this was quite interesting because all those from my primary school thought I'd kind of turned posh and gone to this posh secondary school. You know, the people in the secondary school thought I was kind of, uh, I don't know, some scally off the estate or something, you know. So I didn't really have any identity for a long time. It made, it made secondary school quite tough. Um, I couldn't really identify with any any groups, but the real positive of this is, what, by the time I came to go to university, um, and, and of course there there was a whole metropolis of people from different different backgrounds, I felt really comfortable with almost every single group, whether they come from a very wealthy family, very you know very deprived family background, or anything in between. I felt quite comfortable in all of those environments, and I think that served me really well in in, in my uh, work career as well. So that was fantastic. Um, it's hard to pin down just one, isn't it, um, in terms of a favourite teacher? Again, I think I was fortunate to, enough to have uh, a, a number of teachers, but I did um, maths uh, at secondary school and university, and I guess it was probably uh, a couple of maths teachers I had in my secondary school. What was interesting was not so much the maths that they taught me, but it was the things they told me which were sl slightly outside the curriculum that really got me quite inspired. So when they started talking to me, it was about the time that... Um, uh, you know, chip and pin was coming out and things like that, and mobile phones. Um, and I started to realise the links between actually the, some of the maths we were doing in school and some of the kind of real world maths, as it were. And that really got me quite inspired. And they were prepared to spend quite a lot of time with me outside of lessons to give me that um, that motivation uh, and so on. So, yeah, probably one or two of my maths teachers, I would say.